Hello everyone, Will Tennant here. It's time to talk about more five things about 2K18, and this time it's five returning superstars to the franchise. A few of these haven't been around in many years. Some, well one, only disappeared for 2K17. Who is it? You're going to find out. The first character, of course, is Mr. Kurt Angle, our Raw General Manager. He is obviously a Hall of Famer now, and his last appearance in the WWE game was SmackDown vs Raw 2007 in terms of the SmackDown series. He then also had TNA Impact as well if you want to go into that. In fact, probably had the best angle slam in that game. His model in 2007 was pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I forgot to include him in the two or five things list about 2007 SmackDown vs Raw, which I do apologize because you shouldn't forget an Olympic gold medalist. You shouldn't. Hopefully we'll see a new angle slam animation, maybe a new ankle lock. Maybe a super angle slam as well, and maybe some new, new, new rolling German suplexes that only Kurt Angle can achieve to his full greatest. Oh yeah, it's true. It's there. True. Next up, we've got Mickey James, who, unlike Kurt Angle, was last appeared in 2007. This was Mickey James's first appearance in the WWE SmackDown vs Raw video game her last appearance was in 2011 and since then she went to tna of course as well and met uh, married magnus and now she's back in wwe and hopefully we'll get a much better look like than the character in this game because her render in this one was well it was it was atrocious wasn't it, it, it it's not gonna lie the the females back in those games were not great they didn't for any effort did they let's just grab a wax figure shall we next up as a dlc bonus character if you pre-order the cenough cena enough oh i can't it's so bad can't we just call it the ultimate cena edition uh rob van Dam is one of the characters available only in that version he will be available as a timed exclusive so if you don't mind the special edition you'll be able to get him at a later date and now these modern 2K15 looks pretty good. I don't know if they'll make much adjustments in 2K18 for him. Whether they'll keep the same render or not, I don't know. Maybe they'll, they will, because I don't think you need to change much to the model or his attires. The new tech that they're using on the tires and the belts and stuff might come mightily in handy for certain items of RVD's attire, such as his shin pads, for instance. Not to mention, we might see a new Rolling Thunder. A new 5 star frog splash because the 5 star frog splash in 2k15 was atrocious because the pinning combo wasn't him selling the move he just slapped on the frog splash as normal it's not really the same is it and of course then you had the omg moment of the wheel kick to the barricade with more environmental grapples we might see more different opportunities for rvd in this game i, I sure hope so because he has one of the most lucrative and special movesets in WWE games, especially with weapons and weapons and backstreet scrolls come hand in hand. I might see a Van Damme as well. Next, not so much a superstar, but certainly returning to the franchise is Mr. Corey Graves. He made his only appearance in 2K15 as an NXT superstar. Unfortunately, because of injury, he then obviously retired and is now a color commentator for or has been NXT and now it's 205 Live and Raw and well him being on commentary with Mr. Saxon and Mr. Cole it does mean we're going to hear his voluptuous voice once more and it will be fantastic to hear him back in the game again or just to see him his moveset was pretty good I did like his submission maneuvers even though I hate subs in games because I hate subs on balance is there anything but Corey as soon as I heard him first commentate in NXT it was like he was destined for the role so this is fantastic opportunity to see him in the video game for future generations to always hear his voice and to slag off mr saxton because mr saxton deserves all the slagging off he can get sometimes oh yeah next we've got to have mr bartista and bartista is one of those characters where you have to think why did he remove him in 2k17 he appeared in 2k16 and despite the roster being one of the highest ever in the wwe game he was absent 
and it was a big shock to a lot of people. People had to download him from Community Creations by a lot of the good creative superstar makers because it was just bizarre that he wasn't included in the game. Uh, his moveset was, maybe we'll see a new Batista bomb. I wouldn't mind a new Batista bomb. It wouldn't make a difference if there wasn't a new Batista bomb because Batista bomb is a good manoeuvre, especially if you put onto a weapon and stuff. His model, uh, whether we're going to get the shaven look or the clean shaven look or this look, beard look, I don't know, but either way, having his model in the game will be fantastic. And of course, I'd imagine there'll be a few car creators trying to change his skin colour to make him <laughs> tracks from Guardians of the Galaxy because that's just going to be hysterical, isn't it? Oh, you can make him blue tea stuff, that's, that's just as good, just as easy as well. Who else do you think? As of this video, that's the main guys that are reappearing in 2K18, but is there anyone else you want to see in the game that has yet to be announced that wants to make a return? Leave it in the comment section below, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more WWE Gaming goodness. I am Will Tennant, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.